Recovery is a word with many meanings. It could mean healing a broken bone so you can get back to running marathons. It could mean learning to live a healthy and productive life after being addicted. It could mean creating a meaningful life after a suicide attempt. It could mean coming to a place of acceptance after suffering a traumatic loss. The vast majority of my clients seek counseling for anxiety and depression, which developed while growing up in dysfunction, chaos, or tragedy. They might have been emotionally, physically, or sexually abused by a caretaker, relative, or neighbor. They might have been relentlessly bullied and teased by peers. They might have experienced tragic losses or abandonment. Or they might have grown up in the midst of civil war or domestic violence. Children whose needs are not met for whatever reason often become adults who suffer from shame, hopelessness, and a constant sense of dread, which then fuel chronic depression and anxiety. Life is not easy for such persons who often struggle with relationships, careers, and emotional regulation. Most of my clients are such persons, and my role is to help them find the path to recovery. To this end, I share with them my seeds and weeds analogy, which offers a roadmap to recovery, and this is what I tell them. Imagine you're a seed planted in the earth to become a beautiful flower. But sadly, you didn't receive enough sun, rain, and good soil, so you became a wilted version of yourself. And because you couldn't thrive in such an environment, weeds moved in and choked you. So now you're just surviving, unable to be your true, magnificent self. Well, the lack of good soil, sunshine, and rain represent the severely dysfunctional environment you experience as a child and may have unwittingly maintained into adulthood and the weeds represent the distorted beliefs about yourself that filled you with shame and fear. As such, you came to see yourself as inadequate and not good enough, blaming yourself for not being as vibrant as others who'd been cared for more lovingly. So you've always felt like a failure, unworthy, unlovable, and incompetent. Well, I want you to know that you are not broken and you don't need fixing. Your seed is whole and perfect, so you can stop trying to figure out what is wrong with you and instead take charge of your life by creating an environment for yourself that supplies all the rain, sunshine, and good soil you need. Then you can begin pulling out the weeds of distorted beliefs about yourself, life, and others that have been choking you. And once they're cleared away and you've created a healthy environment for yourself, you will finally grow to be the beautiful person you were always meant to be. You will become your true self. I hope my analogy speaks to you loudly and clearly. You don't need to figure out what's wrong with you. Rather, you need to become empowered to take charge of creating a nurturing environment while ridding yourself of all the distorted beliefs that have been choking you with shame, fear, and hopelessness. Of course, this means learning new skills for self-care so you can create the healthy environment you've always needed to thrive and become your true self. It means learning to take care of yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually, and in relationships, so your perfect seed can blossom into the flower you were always meant to be. It means learning to recognize the old weeds of shame, fear, and hopelessness, so you can weed them out whenever they appear. If you'd like help improving your self-care skills, so you become your true self. Then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.